So today, I'm gonna teach you how to build your ideal week, so you can get more work done during the day. So right now, I'm in my calendar app, and what I'm gonna do, and what I've already done, is schedule what is there. I've scheduled all my classes, all my lectures, all my labs already. Oh, mistake there. And I've just used the app that my university gave me that can allow me to transfer the classes that I have onto my calendar app. And this is what my calendar currently looks like. Wake up at 6.30 and morning routine from 6.30 till 7.30. And then you can see all the blue ones are the classes and lectures that I have for the week. This is so that I get an idea of what class I have to take slash what classes I have to go to during slash throughout the week. And as you can see at the bottom, I have rest from 9 to 10. So first... I'm just gonna change my rest time. I'm gonna decide that, okay, I really want to sleep at 10.30. I drag this down and bang to 10.30 and I choose all future events. I've made changes to this, so this repeats daily and then from 9.30 to 10.30. This is my rest time. This is my time where I just relax, do whatever I want to. Okay, so let's start with Monday. Monday morning, okay, let's say in the morning I want to review the review what I have to do for the week. Okay, yep, I'll do that for one hour and then I can just go to my lecture for digital de- modeling for design at lecture A. Okay, now we come after the lecture. At 10, let's say 10 to 11.30, I'm going to do some work, some deep work. I'm going to do some work for, let's say, EMAS, engineering mass, for one hour and a half. And from 11.30 to 12, I schedule this, I'll have lunch at my home. And this is my current Monday. And now, as you can see, my last lecture slash lab slash class ends at 4. And so from 4 to 5, I just want to go gym. I just want to go gym and I just want to hit chest. Chest day. Right, no, not chest day. Push day. Push day. And I just schedule that in for an hour and a half-ish. And then I come back and I just go, okay, now what do I want to do? I want to have dinner. And dinner will be from 5.30 to 6.30. That seems all right. Maybe I like to have dinner a bit late. This is why it's so flexible. You get to choose when and what you want to do. From dinner from 6 to 7. That's the time I want to have dinner. And this time in between, I can just relax, relax a bit, you know. And then after dinner, as you can see on my calendar, I haven't done much work yet. I haven't done much work for the day yet. So I'm just thinking, hmm, if I have a half an hour block here, maybe I just push, push day here. And I just go for one hour like this, have dinner from 6... 30 to 7 because dinner doesn't take that long so if I'm 5 30 and I schedule another deep work block here deep work and this time I want to do let's say I really feel like doing mechanics engineering mechanics and I want to do practice the cruises slash Oh, I just want to do the quiz. Actually, no. Let's say I want to do the tutorial. There you go. Done the tutorial. And let's set that for one hour and a half. See, as you can see now, my day is scheduled. And I can make this red to show its work. Show its work. And then push that and then dinner. Okay. 
after dinner, I want to maybe just relax for half an hour. So I schedule that in, relax for half an hour. And then after dinner, what do I want to do after dinner? See, I can just add another deep work and work on YouTube or I can watch some videos and learn something. So this is my time at night to allow me to learn stuff. And so this is my learning time. So from 7.30 to let's say 9.30, I want to learn and do some work. Okay, see, as you can see, that is Monday done. Now let's move on to Tuesday. For Tuesday, I might be like, okay, I want to record three videos for YouTube. And I just schedule this down for two hours. Two hours. Two hours. Yeah, two hours. Seems decent. Want to have lunch? I know I want to have lunch at this time of the day. So I schedule that in same day. Actually, no. I have lunch at 1 to one thirty, And record three videos for YouTube. That will take two hours. And how do I come up with ideas? Well, hear me out. Just come them come up with ideas on the spot randomly. And now after recording YouTube, I want to do more deep work. As you can see, I'm not doing even much homework. And let's say let's do this for one hour and a half. And I want to do COSC, computer science, coding stuff. And I just schedule that in there. And as you can see, I have a one hour block here and be like, okay, I want to just do some product design, product design work, figure out CAD software. As you can see, I can just do that at that time. So no time wasted. As you can see, my morning is essentially completely full, but that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Of course, there might be some interference, but... I try to follow this schedule as well as I can. So lunch. Lunch can be from 1.30 to 2, as I'm not really fussed about this block. Then this block here, let's see, maybe I just write, write slash script stuff. As you can see, it's really broad for now. Okay. Now, I have a new block now. After at 6, so let's say from 6, what do I want to do? Hmm, let's see. So after the computer lab, I want to, let's say, I want to go gym, but I don't really have time. See, this is the amazing thing about this. I can just go right and script stuff right there, and I can go gym, push. I go on personal, personal because it's something that I want to do. And then from 6 to 7, I just have dinner. And now I write and script stuff. Oh, maybe I just want to relax after dinner a bit. Nope. Relax after dinner. Okay. And after that, I want to write and script stuff. I want to write and script stuff. And I'm going to aim for at least 6,000 words. 6,000 words from 8.30 to 9. Maybe I just feel tired for that day. And this can schedule can change so easily. And it's so quick. You can change it quickly. It doesn't have to be exact. But then you get to understand what you want to do throughout the day. Okay, now we come on to Wednesday. In the morning, okay, let's see. I've done one EMAS here, one mechanics here, one cost care, one product design here. Now we just go for more engineering mass and just cycle that again. So from 7.30 to 9, EMAS homework slash online quiz. Then after EMAS, I want to do my mechanics 
homework slash tutorial slash learning how to do it if I don't know to do it if I don't know and let's say from 9.15 oh let's just go 9 it'll be fine 9.15 to 10.30 okay and I want to have lunch here as well okay. and see I've got a emas a mechanics one and then now in this block, okay, do more coding. Coding. Cusk. That's what my uni calls that. Cusk. Coding cusk. Okay. And that's till 12. And I can have lunch at this time here. And look, oh, look, I have so much free time after here. And maybe you're wondering, okay, what if I don't know what I want to do with my free time? Okay, then schedule everything that you know you want to do for that day. And let's just say from 6.30 till 7, you want to have dinner. Oh, oops. And then from dinner, and you want to have dinner here as well, dinner here as well, dinner here as well. As you can see, your week from Monday to Friday. It doesn't have to be all filled. What's the important thing is you know what you need to do for the week because you planned it here. You got to have a review of what you want to do for the week and you got to know how much time it would take you to review slash do the things that you want to do for the week. We can talk about that in another video, but for now, it will just be this. And so after this lecture, I'm like, okay, I've done a lot of homework for that. Maybe I just go learn, learn, and learn, slash, read, slash, write. See, learn, slash, read, slash, write is like a really good block to have. I just go like this. Oh, wait, actually, I know what I want to do. So learn, slash, read, I know what I actually want to do. At this time, at this time, I want to start writing cover letters for my job. And so just like that, now in a half, I can just start writing some cover letters for jobs. And let's just say I want to just go, oh, wait, where's Jim? Push that. Let's just make this more routines. Yeah, there we go. Wait, no, this is meant to be pull. Pull day. I apologize, but pull day. Routines. Then this one can be routines. I want to go gym. I just want to go for a run. Let's go for a run. Slash apps. Welcome my apps. Yeah. All right. And then this time here, just relax. Because I've done a lot of work for the day. You don't want to overwork yourself for the day. And then from after dinner, let's see, dinner's from here. Oh, actually, I want to change it to 6.30 to 7. And from here, I just want to learn. See, this is a really good plug to have. Learn, write, slash, read. That's essential skills that you want to be constantly training. Let's say that from 9.30. Okay, next day. Okay. Next day, okay, maybe I have more EMAS, EMAS homework, because there's a lot of homework slash quiz to do, right? And I will do some more product design stuff, because I have a product design after that, design, design, there we go. Maybe I have, yeah, like that, one hour and one hour here, and I have lunch again. At this time even though lunch might not take me one hour I need to digest the food so you know screw it and then on Thursday I want to go gym again but this time I want to go for legs leg day leg day and then from this time here I've done quite a lot of work let's say from this time here I want to finish homework Finish on finish homework. 
So this means that by Thursday, I will most likely have all my homework done for the week. That's so great. You have Friday, Saturday, Sunday to do whatever else you want. And so for the other times, I might just be like, okay, learn, write, read. You know, just learn, write, read over and over again. Learn, slash write, slash read. As you can see, this means that you don't have to do a lot of homework for the week. I've probably only scheduled like 10 to 15 hours. And let's say you don't finish your homework. Okay, Friday morning. Schedule one more time. Finish. Unfinished homework. Easy. And we finish that off. Maybe in the morning, you know. And that time after that, you just want to relax a bit, relax a bit. Or maybe I just want to edit videos, you know, do some video editing. Let's make that personal. Then, look, Friday is essentially day three. And for now, I'm just going to leave it empty. All I know on Friday is at this time, from five to six, I'm going to go for a run plus abs. And so, once I delete this new event there, and so I know I have dinner here. Yeah, five to six. Dinner here. And then as you can see, there's so much blank space. And you can just fill those out with activities that you want to do. Because this is flexible. This is a flexible routine. Let's say you have more homework to do. Do you think you can't finish it from like Friday? See, look, for me, it'll be like 11 till Sunday. That's like at least 15 hours more time that you could spend on homework if you wanted to. And so, like, as you can see, it's a full pack schedule from Monday to Thursday. But that's fine. That's fine. Because I finish all my work from Monday to Thursday, and maybe just have one day to finish unfinished homework. But everything else is really top-notch and all done. And so, yeah, this is how I would plan out my ideal week. Let me know if this helps, and yeah.